Hi, I'm comedian and sensible driver Isaac Butterfield and if you want to drive your car on the roads of our great country then there's a few things that you need to be aware of. If you're caught in traffic it's important to stay very calm. For Christ's sake, I've been sitting here for 20 fucking minutes. Someone better be dead up there, fuck's sake! It's very important not to text while you're at the lights. Oh, go, it's fucking green. What are you doing? Are you on your phone, dickhead? What could be so fucking important? Not only is texting at the lights illegal, it annoys and impedes other drivers getting to where they need to go. So don't fucking do it. Unless, of course, it's a dick pic and it needs to be sent immediately. Sometimes when you're looking for a park, the only option is a reverse park. But remember, in this situation, you want to pull up next to the car that you are trying to reverse in behind, realise immediately that you haven't actually done a reverse park since your P's test, and think, fuck this, drive 500 metres away and walk because you love fitness and you fucking hate reverse parking. If someone accidentally moves into your lane, it's alright. Give them a quick little toot of the horn just to remind them that they've encroached on your space. Oh, what are you doing, you fucking idiot? Move shit for brains! Fuck you, you cocksucker! This is a hard one. Try not to masturbate while you're driving. If you desperately need to have a wank while you're driving, just pull into the cyclist lane, because that's where all the wankers hang out. In saying that, remember, you need to give cyclists respect on the roads, give them their space, and share the love. Believe it or not, in some states in our great country, people in the front seat passenger side actually believe that they have control over the stereo. Get your fucking hands to yourself, you freeloading fuckface. My car, my radio, I'm the fucking DJ, son. In Australia, roadside random breath testing is commonplace, so it's very important to remain extremely calm. Oh, fucking RBT. I knew I needed a plan B. What am I talking about? It's 10am on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> I'll be fine, I've only had like four beers. If you're planning to drive in Australia, make sure you know the wave. The wave is literally a matter of life and death in many different situations and scenarios. Oh fuck's sake, Jesus Christ, I nearly run up the arse here, you fucking idiot. You wait. I'm gonna pull up the traffic lights and get out and fucking flog you, you dick. Oh, hang on. The wave. No worries, friend. You are forgiven. All is forgiven. Farewell. Bye bye. If you had a big night last night, remember that residual alcohol may still be in your system. So if you had 30 beers, 5 Bundy and Cokes, and 3 Pingers, make sure you grab a bacon and egg roll before you get behind the wheel. If you're planning to go away on a long weekend in Australia and you need to get petrol, make sure you take one of these. This is a knife, and the reason you'll need the knife is because on public holidays or long weekends, petrol costs an arm and a fucking leg. The knife would be used to remove the arm and leg. Do you get it? It's not the best joke ever written, but it's fucking true. Driving is a great way to pick up a girl. If by some miracle revving your engine doesn't make her moister than an oyster, then pull up beside her, and in the most gentlemanly, polite, chivalristic way that you can possibly imagine, tell her how you feel. Oi, oi, show us your tits. Oh yeah, show them. Get them out. <laughs> See ya. Sure, it may look like I know what I'm doing, but unless the car stopped because there's not enough fucking windshield wiper fluid, we're fucked and we're not going anywhere. Thanks for watching, you good motherfuckers. I'm going on tour very, very shortly. If you haven't got tickets already, make sure you go and grab them. You can grab them in the link below. I'm going all over the country. It's going to be fucking amazing. Anyway, can't wait to meet you all. Uh, peace in the Middle East. Be a good motherfucker. Jerry-o.